Ashley is giving me a ride today to start the vlog. She was four minutes late. She's always late or early. She's never on time for anything. You should work on that. I'll work on You should make it a life's priority. Okay. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Just for Thank you. you. And you're always listening to garbage music. <laughs> it's not true. Garbage. Are you awake? Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train going anywhere My vocals are not <laughs> Just a city boy, boy. Oops. Born and raised in South Detroit See, it makes you want to sing, does it? He took the midnight train going anywhere So we're at the Y, and Dylan, yes, is indeed in the deep end. Yes. Hang on. The other kids are over there in the shallow end right now. They were just over here with us. All right, Dylan's going to jump for it. We've been working on his swimming, and he's been doing really good. I'm so proud of him. This is the first time we just, he forgot how to swim basically. So, <clears throat> this summer we've been kind of working on it, well in the last few weeks. And now, for the first time ever, he's in the deep end. What are those crazies doing over there? No clue. and stuffing and salads and, and mashed potatoes and corn on the cob. That's why I say to Lane. And my dad. No stuffing, you right? You can't put in my cup. Oh, for Bruce. Cameron, we've uh -huh. got soup and corn. And You're going to have to corn. cut some corn because you don't have a vegetable. It's either a salad or a corn. Dad, look at I got my new tattoo. Oh, yeah, cool, right? Sweet. Like uh. Gavin makes a song about everything. I just love it. You're going to get punched pretty punch. hard. So I would stop. And I spilt it. What do you think it would taste like if I put stuffing on chicken? Or pork? It's game six of the Wiffle Ball World Series. Me and Landon and Dylan are up three games to two over Cameron, Maddie, and Amanda. Tonight there will be victory. Are you ready? <laughs> Welcome to another Disney countdown on the vlog. Today we are going to do uh, top roller coasters. I'm leaving out the uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train because I haven't rode it, and I'm leaving out the Barnstormer, which is in Magic Kingdom, which is like a kiddie coaster, because I don't think it should be on the list. So today we'll just break down the other four major roller coasters, um, two in Magic Kingdom, one at Animal Kingdom, one at uh, Hollywood Studios. And there is no roller coasters at Epcot, so soon there will be, though. 
Guardians of the Galaxy oh, yeah. roller coaster. I think it's going to be a roller coaster. Anyway, I'm on the countdown. Number four. What's number four? I don't know. Big Thunder oh. Mountain Railroad. Yeah. We just saw the video. You didn't know? <laughs> we didn't really watch the video. No. She just, I just told her. Uh, so Thunder Mountain Railroad is uh, it's a choo-choo train. Yeah. Um, it does go quite fast, though. It's, it's pretty like quick. A little choo-choo yeah. train. It doesn't have any big drops like your no. typical roller coaster. It's just kind like of like... hills and... Little hills. Yeah. It's just kind of a wild train ride through the old west. Exactly. You get to see like a sheep or something or a goat. At one point, you can see the, uh, Cinderella's castle if you look off into the... It's a nice train ride, but it's just number four. It's, yeah. It's the, the least exciting of the four on this list. I'll agree with that. Number three. <laughs> number three is going to get me a lot of criticism, probably. Because it's number three. Because yeah. a lot of people will probably put this at number one for the same reason I'm putting it at number three. I think people would put it at number one for like tradition purposes. Yeah. Space Mountain. Yeah. I'm putting it at number three. One, because I thought Landon died on it and fell out and it scared me when he was little. Yeah, I had the same experience It's dark, you can't Cameron. see, he screamed, I couldn't feel him up for anyway. Uh, scary. <laughs> and two, it's very dated. It's a very old roller coaster. It's been there forever. I understand it's like one of the main attractions. Right. But it's not as cool when you're 36 as it is when you're like six. True. So to me, it's dated, uh, which is why it's number three. But it's still better than Thunder Mountain. Definitely. Still the best roller coaster at the Magic Kingdom. Yes. Uh, moving on with number two. <laughs> tough choice but coming in at number two is Everest Expedition Everest the Forbidden Mountain yeah you get to see a Yeti I remember when I took Landon and Landon was sitting next to me that he was gonna kill me and then when you get to because when you get to the, the yeah he was just like oh <gasps> and then you go backwards yeah and see I had never rode it before so that was definitely my first time and I didn't realize we were going backwards <laughs> still like all Disney roller coasters no big hill in this one either. I mean, it's a giant mountain, but there's no like. It's not your typical. But when you theme go up, park and then you coaster. just go down, so it's not like you actually go over it. It's not like you're shooting straight down at like a 200 foot drop or anything. These parks do not offer that kind of roller coasters. All these roller coasters are, for the most part, suitable to children. Yeah. Honestly, they're not like overly intense. This, from a scary point of view, is probably the scariest because the track is broken when you get to the top and you go backwards. Plus, you see the Yeti in the inside yeah. the mountain, which can be a little scary to a little guy. I get it. Yeah. Uh, but just number two, which leaves us with only one left. I wonder if you can guess what it is. Number one. You're only just getting started. is Aerosmith Rock and Roller Coaster. This ride is really good. Yeah. It's again, no big hill, but what this ride does is so cool. First, you get led into the limo by Aerosmith essentially through like a, a movie monitor or whatever. And then you get street lights and Ooh, the whole goodness. premise is you're racing through downtown LA to get to the Aerosmith concert and you're in this giant limo to get there. The coolest part of this ride is the beginning of this ride because you go from zero to 60 and in like, three yeah, seconds. Three seconds. So seconds. you're just like, <clears throat> and it's such a gut-wrenching, like, butterfly feeling when you, like, take off at the beginning. The rest of the ride kind of settles down. You get to listen to Aerosmith music. There's all kinds of laser lights and stuff. It's, it's a very cool-looking ride. Yes, definitely. Um, I like that ride. I've only been on it, what, once? Yeah. Maybe it's twice? essentially, to me, once. like, a much faster, much better Space Mountain. Yeah. I mean, and that's why I put Space Mountain at number three, because this is 
an in the dark another ride with better lighting and better music and it's faster it's it's a better version of space mountain essentially True story. plus you get to listen to aerosmith songs yeah dude looks like a lady you know ha oh, that's so it. tomorrow i don't know what we'll be doing but there will be something else disney related so make sure you check out tomorrow's countdown and whatever or whatever else it is see you later <sighs> on with the rest of the vlog yeah <laughs> It's time for another Disney edition of the Landon Bergy. What is Tarzan's favorite Christmas song? Yeah, what's Tarzan's favorite Christmas song? Jungle Bells. Oh. <laughs> Me too. Thank you, boys. Good night. Side note before we end the vlog. I realized as I was editing that I didn't put in who won that wiffle ball game. Me and Landon and Dylan are officially the champions. We won the seven game series, four games to two. It only lasted six games because Amanda and her pathetic team couldn't couldn't take us down. We crushed them in this last game. I think it was thirteen to eight. It was just it was an abomination. It was ugly. On another it note, thirty nine more days till Disney. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Also. My dad couldn't find today's vlog, and they literally called here, and we're like, is everything okay? And I was like, what? What are you talking about? They're like, we can't find the vlog. You didn't post one. I was like, yes, I did, but it's called Mem Let the Memories Begin. And they were like, oh. So there is backlash if I ever don't post a vlog. I've always wondered, like, what would happen if I just skipped a day after going this many I days in a yawning. row. I keep yawning. I'm sorry. That's because your brain is lacking oxygen. That's what yawning means. <clears throat> So I've always wondered what would happen, and now I know. People will actually think I'm dead. So that's no good. I guess you're going to vlog for the rest of your life. I guess Enjoy. so. I don't want people to think I'm dead. Until tomorrow, Blender Blades. Hit the puree button. And keep on blending. Cam drop.